Hello, this is Mary Jordan, and thank you for coming on my YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I have gathered up like some stuff that you'd find on a treasure hunt. We're going on a treasure hunt today. <laughs> I know this is silly, but I just thought you might like to see this. Well, this is kind of a bigger thing, but you see this? It's a rock. <laughs> I know, it's pretty though, but you see all those little holes? You know, spiders or bugs or anything can hide in these. But sometimes if you go out onto the um, country roads, you can find these rocks. And all kinds of things on the country road and you can take them home and put them in your garden. Put them around the tree and you can put uh, flowers, anything nice to go inside the rocks and here is some feathers look at this i love this i collect feathers so i just love this love it love it love it and here's another one but isn't this pretty look at the way that is you know and they used to a long time ago have ink at the bottom and they would write isn't that neat how they would do that? But these are really pretty. I think I've got a couple more. There's a little baby one. Whoop. Little baby one. Compared to this, you can see how smaller that is. Really gorgeous. Let me see. And this is the buttercup. I just love these little flowers and they just grow wild out here just wild and you can paint this or press it in books and make pictures put it in a little vase and just you know it just wakes you up really good with a smile and here's one of those little things that you can blow well I don't want to do it in here because it makes a mess but you see that that's really nice you can put hairspray on this and then you can put it in a little vase and those are kind of cute. You have about 12 of these all together. Really nice. I did this with a like a shallow dish or let's say like a clay type of dish where you're gonna put it under plants. You can put dirt in there. Let's say black because it's kind of a really pretty color, black dirt. And you can get these feathers, all different shapes and sizes and all that or the same size if you like. You get these and you get feathers, let's say six of each, and just stick it in the dirt together. And that makes a really unusual piece to put somewhere if you want to jazz it up a little bit. Really neat. And look at this. These are really pretty too. Really pretty. And this is growing on a branch. It fell off the tree, but I just had to give it. Isn't that pretty? It's really messy though. It's real fuzzy. And this is what actually will cause you to start sneezing. Yes, but it is kind of neat. And the stick. See the stick? These sticks are really good to get. Like if you have a, um, let's say green beans you finish with, wash it out and take off the paper. And with your hot glue gun, if you can find these like you know, a little more of a straighter look. And you can hot glue these going around your can. Put pencils or your uh, uh, scissors and such in there. And it just makes it look really different. Or you could even get like um, river rocks and just hot glue river rocks all over your can. And that's really different. Really neat. <laughs> But I just uh, was wondering, what did you do today? What did you do today? I kind of, well, I had a really good day. I didn't do a lot today, but I, um, I, well, for the last two, three months, I've been working seven days a week. I really have, seven days a week, and it's been really hard, but I've been doing it. Um, today, I went and saw a movie at the theater, and it was called The Lost City. Sandra Bullock, she is uh, one of the characters in there, and I cannot remember the others. Even Brad Pitt was in that movie. It was pretty good. He didn't have, well, 
um, it was a really good movie. I definitely would go and watch it. And I would definitely get some of this. Popcorn. Yes! <laughs> See? Popcorn. You want to get that popcorn when you watch the movies. It was kind of expensive to go there. It was almost $12 to go see that movie. The time I got the popcorn, I didn't get a drink, but I got the popcorn. I really love popcorn. But it was, it was really neat to go in there and, and it was, it wasn't a lot of people in there, but it was pretty fun. And I just love movies. So you have to go with your family and go see some movies and just have a lot of fun today. Did you, Surely you didn't go clean that house, did you? Did you Did you clean your house? I bet you did, though. I know. I would always want to do that, too. Go clean the house when you have time. Or catch up on this. Or catch up on that. And then all of a sudden, the day's gone. It's just time to go to sleep, isn't it? But um, just remember to go out there and, and see some of God's creations. And go collect some feathers. <laughs> These are so pretty, though. I really love those. Really love them. Um, yes, I'm, I just love all that naturey stuff. But um, it's a weakness of mine. I just love that nature. And it just makes you wonder, oh my goodness, there's a, a bird out here. He's, I don't know what type of a bird, but he's a, he looks like he's from... South Padre Island, he's, uh, he doesn't belong around here. He must be just flying through. It's just because there's water out there. But, um, yes, I'm out at the lake again. I was going to, I wanted to do this outside, but it's really cold for some reason. The wind is blowing and it has a really big chill in the air. It's really odd because yesterday it was like 102. Now it's really chilly. I think that's really odd. And, um, and I was thinking of, oh yes, I met two girls out here, two young girls in their 20s, and they wanted me to take a picture of them, and I did, and I had to tell them about my book. I don't know why I do that. Finding my foot, and I showed it to them on my cell phone. Finding my footsteps, first spark of mystery. And I definitely had to tell them what it was about. Um, five writers, four guys and a girl going across the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee and they entered a six a it's a horseback race and it's a six day run and they just find leadership confidence they find their, their inner self they just all their footsteps are full of ventures every day that goes by and it's just a really good book it's, it's my first book it's a fiction book and it is on Amazon, and I wrote it, and I published it myself. I did all the formatting, everything that you could do with the book, I did it myself. So that was definitely a learning experience, and I did that off of KDP Publishing. And all you do is um, link it up with a check-in account and your social security number because you are considered in business for yourself when you're selling those books. And you can do your book in a, a paperback, a hardback cover, or an ebook if you'd like. It can go on Kindle. And it's just really neat to have all that on the internet, you know. And um, it's amazing though, because when I go look, at, when I actually go look it up and I see that and I see my name in print, it just, it always amazes me <laughs> each time I see that. And so I had to tell those girls that they really need to do that because they need their name in print too. And all over the world and everybody can see their name. It was It's just amazing. But in another book that I, I wrote, it's real dear to my heart, is um, Diabetic Logbook, Personal Care. And that also comes in an ebook form and a paperback. It's 8.5 times 11. Reason why I did that is uh, my mother. She's passed away now, but she at one time she had she was had diabetic. She was a diabetic, but she kind of cured hers with the food that she ate. She just stayed away from certain foods and. Um, 
she was always a really good cook, but she, um, hers went away just by the way she ate. And I, you know, that's just amazing how you can just do that with the food that you eat. And I noticed lately I've been eating too much sugar and I've been telling myself, stop eating that sugar. And I, and I have been, been a little toot on that and I've been drinking too much sweet tea and I really dearly love that sweet tea. Yes, I gotta do it too. I gotta tell myself to stop doing that. But um, it's hard when you're going in all these stores and you see all that sugary stuff that you just love and you just wanna put all that in your basket, but you can't. Maybe one or two, maybe none of that. <laughs> you know, but then you're looking at the chip aisle and then, I don't know, it's just, oh my goodness. And um, everything is so good. And I just wish I could uh, bake like that my mother she used to bake so really well and she could just have like three ingredients and she would come up with the best meal and I'm just always thinking how did she do that how did like like how did she really do that and she'd always would make um, some type of dessert every day she had a dessert with the meal and I, I really don't know how she did that because like when my children were smaller, I did not do the, the dessert every day. I did do the meal, but I didn't do the dessert. And uh, it's just because I'll practically be the one who's going to eat it. But um, yes, those desserts are good. And I love recipe books. I probably have um, you probably 60, maybe 80 recipe books. And a fourth of them or so, those were my mother's books. Um, not really half. I'm going to say probably 40% were my mother's. And I just dearly love those books. And and when I know they're hers, it just makes me, you know, how you, how you hold that book when it was your mother's or it is her mother's or your grandmother's and you look at the pages and you think, you know, and some of them might have something on that page where they were cooking and it got on the book because some of mine do that and um those pages are more special to me because you know they did that recipe and they really like that recipe and sometimes i'm fortunate to have a recipe that's on an index card my mother hand wrote it out and i just dearly loved that i would not give it rid of that because you see the, the way they wrote and you know it's just a lot of memories coming back when you get to have that and so and half the time i only want to use that recipe because I, I definitely don't want to lose it but i do use them but it's just a good feeling when when you have something of your mother's that you know you can just cherish yes it's just really nice and um so what do you have of your mother's do you have a favorite uh, maybe a favorite um, jacket or a shirt or maybe some jewelry that she had that she liked to wear. Uh, let me see what else would mom love. Um, maybe she planted a rose garden or a tree or something like that. And then, you know, and you've been taking care of it. And that tree has flourished. Now it's so much bigger. And every time you go out and you see those roses, or you see that tree blossoming flowers or just getting, you know, it just comes out every spring. It just makes you feel good because your mom loved that. Your mom loved that. And it just, it makes you want to put a, um, a cozy bench or something by that tree and plant some flowers or anything that you think would be just like real pungent smelling. And just a whimsical maybe a small garden going around the tree or by it and have your maybe some stepping stones and you can put a couple of maybe like a bench a chair um, a small coffee table in the middle maybe some plants going around make it cozy just make it really cozy and so when you go out there and you can just relive every moment with your mother and that you know that's a lot of that's a lot of fun just just thinking about how your mom was and if you're fortunate to have your mother with you right now as i'm speaking to you you don't know how blessed you are i mean truly you don't know how blessed you are um 
just know that she loves you more than anything and I mean anything anything and when you get a chance get your cassette player going without her knowing it and you or like your phone in the background and turn it on like a video like I'm doing and just talk to her and you know get her to laughing and smiling and maybe you can sing together and talk about her childhood and her mother and her daddy and her siblings maybe what her favorite pet was or her favorite birthday present that she got when she was a child where did she go for traveling um, what was her favorite subject at school her favorite book, her favorite passage in the Bible, and just relive all, and you know, relive any of those moments that she wants to, to tell you and have it on that video so you can go back and look at it. Because one day, that will be the most cherished video that you'll ever have, and it really will, because after a while, you know, 10, 15, 20 years go by, you some, you know, I mean, you don't want to think it, but you may forget the way they laugh, the way they held their eyes up really big, um, the way they giggled at something, maybe, maybe they got, you know, they said a, cur a curse word and they weren't supposed to, and both of you just laughed and laughed over that, um, but just remember, Mom loves you big time, and Daddy loves you too. He does. He is the backbone of the family, and he's going to keep you all together, and he has so much knowledge to share too, so don't forget Daddy. Daddy knows a lot. You know, and this is a great picture. You get your Daddy's hand, your Mama's hand, and you put your hand on top, and if you have a, a grandchild or your child is smaller, put that little hand on top. You got so many generations right there. And that is a, the sweetest picture you'll ever have. And it will. That is the sweetest picture. And um, just remember to have a lot of smiles today. And it is Sunday. And to go out and just do something fun. It is it's about 9 o'clock here in Texas. And I'm sure that everybody's starting to settle down and maybe watching their favorite movie on the TV or you're reading a book or you're finishing up in the kitchen or doing something. Um, hopefully, you know, you're just doing something really fun together. Or just sit back in those recliners and watch TV together and just laugh and giggle and just have lots of fun. Have lots of fun. Yes, yes, yes. And um, thank you again for coming on this YouTube channel. I really, and I truly appreciate each and every one of you for coming on here. Um, I really tried to make it different but sometimes I jabber too much but I do like just talking to you um, and just trying to share something new that I found out or I love the new stuff you know and this is something different I mean it's been around a long time but just having one good thought if you have good thoughts did you know that can actually change your DNA it really can it can change your DNA so, you just think good thoughts all the time, and you know, those good thoughts are going to flourish like that wildflower garden, and tomorrow you're going to be so much knowledgeable, and it's just amazing, you know, you can, and I like to do this, it's kind of geeky, but I do do this, I'll get one of those college dictionaries, and I learn new words all the time. Um... I mean, you don't have to really talk like that, but it helps your vocabulary to get, you know, larger and larger. Or just, you can get the geography book out and just start learning about all the different parts of the world. And just, you know, learning something new every day is always fun. Sometimes it's kind of hard because it, you don't really understand it, but, it, but if you start doing it over and over and over, it gets easier and easier. You just have to think outside the box. But thank you for coming back one more time. And um, God's going to definitely bless every footstep that you take. And He's going to keep you close. He's not going to let go. And um, 
I have a text coming in and just just that know that I'm holding your hand right now and I'm not gonna let go and just have lots of smiles tomorrow on happiness and I love you I love you God forever eternity sweet dreams amen amen <laughs> okay bye-bye